Hi everyone. This is Shirley from Shirley's World and I went shopping at Goodwill today. I sort of run out of listings, uh, inventory that I could list as far as clothes goes. And it was double points day at my Goodwills. So that means you get points on your card, one point for every dollar. But once a month they do the double points and you get two points for every dollar. And that goes toward your coupons that you get off your uh, 15 and 35% off coupons. So I had a 35% off coupon going in. So everything that I show you, uh, two things were half price, but the rest were all 35% off. So I did really good. I uh, bought 41 items. Three of the things are mine, so actually 38 items for to resell. And uh, my total would have been $161.33, but with my coupon, I paid uh, $112, right around $112. I put 18 cents toward their, uh, they always run a... You can you can uh, put your change into a thing that goes to, for good. So I did that. So actually, one hundred and twelve dollars is what I spent. That comes out for thirty eight items. That comes out to two dollars. Hi, Bumblebee. So I paid two dollars and ninety five cents each, averaging out. So that's good. Uh, I love when that happens. That it's under three dollars. Uh. I can, one thing I bought for myself was a, another clock, a little bigger one. It's about this big around. It's just a plastic clock, but it takes one AA battery. She didn't have one at the cash register, so I was just hoping that it worked when I got it home, and it did. So that's in use already. And the other thing I bought were these two little glasses. Uh, these are for my orange juice in the morning. I broke one of my glasses and the dishwasher broke the other one. So I bought these two. They're 50 cents a piece. And they're actually cut glass. So I'm going to be drinking my orange juice in cut glass glasses. So I have to uh, take the stickers off of those and put them through the dishwasher. Uh, hi, Sue. So yesterday, I went to Goodwill, even with the, the uh, variant of the COVID ramping itself up. Uh, I wore a mask, of course. And I noticed a lot more people in the store were wearing masks, whereas a few weeks ago, nobody was wearing a mask, not even me. So... Uh, we are in an area now, Sue, you asked this before. Yes, Medina is in a red area now. It wasn't the other day, but it is now. So anybody in higher, uh, you know, red areas are supposed to wear masks indoor, whether you're vaccinated or not. So, of course, most of the people in there weren't wearing masks, but I was, so. That at least keeps me from spreading it. So, anyway, <clears throat> let me show you these smaller things that I got. Bumblebee, remember I sold that tie that you sent me this past in the men's box? I sold it right away. But when I was walking past the ties, um, I saw this one tie. And it was by the same brand that you sent me. So I thought, well, I'm just going to get, get it and try it. Now, I think I've had this brand before, but I'm not sure. But these are, uh, the fabric is from Italy. It's made in the U.S. It's all silk, very soft. So I will try it and uh, see if I get another fast sale. That would be nice. Then I'll go back and look for more of these. 
Now, in the uh, plush animals, I did stop by them. The plush bins were full again, but all the little animals, I don't get the great big things. So all the little ones were way in the bottom, so you had to really dig for them. I didn't spend that much time digging. But I found, the first thing I found was the smallest thing ever. It's a tie. It's a beanie baby, and it's called Tiny Ties, or Teeny Ties. Teeny Ties. It's a little pig, and his name is Curly, because he has a curly tail. It's very small. But I've seen uh, uh, the, the girl that does the uh, plush animals. She has showed that she sold these before. So... I'm going to try and see what I can get for them. I don't think very much, but it's something, a sale. Then I found this little dog. He's a little basset hound, I think. And his name is Tracker. Uh, he's by Ty also. He's a beanie baby. But he's in really good, clean shape. So those are the two plush animals I got. So I was um, really out to get a lot of things today. So I was trying to fill up my cart. I should have taken a picture of my cart, but I didn't. I fully intended on recording this video, but I just didn't have together enough to get it. It was already close to 3 o'clock, and I thought, well, I might as well just go on live. So here I am. Okay, I'm just going to go through these piles, and then I'll show you what's on the rack. Um, I found a bathing suit by Chico's. It's black and white, a one-piece bathing suit, and it has this mesh up here on the top. And it uh, Chico's bathing suits are called... Uh, just Chico Swim, <laughs> and it's a size 14. So not really, really uh, a big size, 14 is normal size. But I thought that was really, really nice condition. I should have my barrel over here <clears throat> to drop things in. Okay, also a Chico's is one of these, I have a pair of these pants, they, they aren't by Chico's, but, uh, or they may be, they may be Chico's, these are Chico's Travelers, and these are a size 3 short, they run really long to begin with, so I would say when I hold these up, they would, I would, I would certainly buy a short because they are even long on me and I'm not short. So uh, they are that acetate uh, fabric that you can just bundle up and throw in a suitcase. These are black, go with a tremendous amount of things. And I got those. Uh, another pair of pants. These are all pants in this little pile here. These are very cool pants by uh, Jones of New York. These are a 16W, which is a plus size when they say W. These are like the paper bag style pants. They're elastic and with the tie. And they're like a seersucker uh, striped. And they are linen. So these are cool linen pants. Uh, actually, I think they are either, these are probably considered uh, capris because on me, they go not even near the ankle. So I'm sure they're uh, considered capris. Actually, I thought these were long pants when I bought them, but that's okay because this is the yellow tag is what was half price. So these were half price. <clears throat> I 
and I got a pair of cabana pants and I always look for these now. Now I don't have no idea about this brand. I haven't looked it up. It's called Kappa City, C-A-P-A, -A, Kappa City. And they are a size medium and they're this black and tan stretch waist and tie. Uh, wide leg uh, cabana pants and I think they are rayon yes they're a hundred percent rayon so these are really really nice they're they're regular size uh, length pants so I finally found a pair of cabana pants okay now in the in the men's jeans, I did not find any uh, jeans that I wanted. So when I was hunting in the women's jeans, sometimes the men's jeans are put in the women's by mistake. And this is one of them. This is by Bonobose, which is a good brand. Bonobose. And I think these are a 31 by 34, if I remember when I looked at inside and they are called tailored they're a darker wash and they're tailored i don't know what's tailored about them but uh that's what their name is inside so a pair of men's uh jeans bonobos jeans which i should be able to get uh at least 35 to 40 dollars for so i was happy about that the 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 leather tag on the back looks brand new. I don't think these have been worn much at all. Okay, here's a pair. These are Gander Mountain, size 8. So these are women's. Gander Mountain is a good brand. It's the Guide Series. The reason I picked these up is because... They have zippers across here. They're uh, zipper off legs. So you can make these into shorts. You just zip off the bottom of the leg and you have Bermuda shorts. So these pockets on the back are zip, zip pockets. They're outdoor, you know, cool, real cool fabric pants that probably dry really fast. So a nice pair. Of Gander Mountain, which is a good brand. My daughter's in the midst of uh, listing, so I don't know if that's her or not. Tiny dot I'm pointing out in pictures. That's okay, right? Yes. <laughs> anyway, she is doing pretty well. She is uh, has two feedback so far. Thank you. And uh, she's listing two to three things a day, uh, which is all she can do right now. She's still getting her whole setup set up. So, uh she wants to do a setup like Chris has, but I don't think she's able to make that slant board. <laughs> so right now she wants to take most of her pictures outside in the shade on. He's, he's told us what, what he uses out there. It's like this gray outdoor rug that he got at Home Depot. And uh, she knows exactly what they are. So uh, when I go over to her house when we go to buy her shelves and things we can get that but yeah she's a photographer she knows how important lighting is on photos and look what I found again another pair of rock revival jeans these are also a small size these are 26 that's really small and these are the Kai boot cut they have all the tags and everything inside with all the numbers. 
So I'm pretty sure these are real. I will check them over for sure before I list them. But Rock Revival, they have the really bling pockets in the back. These big things are big rhinestones. And they have rhinestones in here too. This doesn't show up on the cameras. So a pair of uh, dark wash rock revival pants in really good condition. Boot cut. <clears throat> okay, that's it for the pants, I think. I'll show you these shoes. I got one pair of shoes. And I took a chance on these. I didn't know what the brand, I never heard of this brand. And these are men's sandals. And the brand, I don't know if you can see that, it's N O A T, is it? N O A T A K. I looked them up, there was only one pair listed. And they are called fisherman sandals, and they were listed. There's none sold, just one listed. So I don't know what that means, but uh, the person listed them for thirty-two dollars. So they're heavy. They they look like they've never been worn. Uh, so I would say new, without box for these. So another pair of shoes I don't have room for on my racks. Uh, okay. Got a couple sweaters here. This is by Philosophy. I wasn't going to buy Philosophy anymore because it just doesn't seem to do well. It used to do really well and now it just sort of sits. But I did. I bought this. Uh, this is a large... It's blue, sort of that heather, blue and black heather. Has long sleeves. Just a nice cotton. I think this is cotton. Feels like cotton. Cotton with a little bit of acrylic in it to make it soft. So that sweater. Then this sweater, this is a new with tags one, and this is one of the first things I picked up, I saw. This is by American Eagle, and when I touched it, it is so soft. And when I looked in, that is uh, what it says on there. It says, seriously soft, <laughs> by American Eagles, Eagle Outfitters, and it is a size. What size are you? A medium, I think I saw someplace. There's a tag in here someplace. I, I, I'm pretty sure it was a medium. But it does have its tag on, but they ripped off the price. But it has the UPC code on it. <coughs> Where did that I know I saw the size on here somewhere. I'm just not seeing it. But anyway, it zips up to a mock neck like that. And it's blue. Maybe you can't tell what color it is. It's blue and this uh, off-white stripe. Really nice and soft sweater. Fall is coming. Sweater weather. I like buying sweaters. I like buying sweaters better than little sleeveless tops. So, another sweater. Now, I knew this brand because I have riding pants by this brand. This is an uh, equestrian brand. And it's called Carrots with a K. See? Carrots. There's a little carrot there. This is a large sweater. This looks like it's brand new. It feels brand new. It has horseshoes all over the the uh, you know body of it, and then 
It has a border of horses and carrots. <laughs> and along the bottom, horses and carrots. Isn't that cute? And it has a quarter zip neck with a mock turtleneck, mock neck. So a super sweater for anybody who loves horses or is in the horse world. <clears throat> and the other sweater I got is by Loft. This was in the rack they were just wheeling out. Uh, this is plain loft, and it's a medium. And I looked at the uh, what this is made of, and it has mohair in it. And it's wool, and I think some poly and nylon. It has several things in it. But when I saw mohair, it's probably this fuzzy part uh, on the design. It's a pretty sweater, dark charcoal gray, the white. In time, it's a nice winter, winter sweater. I said medium, right? Yeah, medium. Okay, let's go on to what's this. I got actually a couple dresses. This dress is a maxi dress, okay? This has spaghetti straps, and it is by Chico's in a one, size one. And it has, it's new with tags, has a tag. It doesn't, it has the UPC code on it, but it doesn't. And I was looking at this closer because all around here is that rubbery stuff, okay? So I looked at the straps, and these straps are ones that you can take off. You know, you can take off these straps and just have a halter dress. So it goes in at the waist and then all the way down, and it's a big maxi, maxi skirt, like a, like an A line, I would say, probably A line. So that dress, maxi dress, and it's made out of that really uh, nice fabric that doesn't wrinkle. Uh, then when I put this in my basket, I thought I thought it was a tunic, but when I looked at it at home here, I'm pretty sure it's a mini dress. I looked up the brand and it. This brand is, I've never seen it before. It's its not a real high-selling brand at all. But it's new with tags. It has a scoop neck with a little tie, and the tie has tassels. Okay. But the dress has these sort of balloon sleeves, and it looked like a tunic. But when I hold it up to me, it is definitely right above the knees. So that's too long to be a tunic. And it's this uh, Aztec print on it. So it had a lot of things going for it, even though the brand is in a high-end brand. And it's a medium. It's navy and this tan color. And there is its name, Belzera. So I'll just take a chance and see. Also, I believe it's rayon. This is all rayon. I got a lot of rayon things today, uh, which I like. I like, yes, 100% rayon. This should be hung, but I ran out of hangers. I'm going to hang that later. Okay. And then this little, little mini dress. I haven't even looked this brand up, but I don't think it's anything either. But it's a cute little dress. It's by Miss Daisy. Miss Daisy. I'm terrible at showing that. Miss Daisy is a medium. 
just little spaghetti straps. It's a little mini dress. And it has, you can see, it has sort of a ruffle, a wide ruffle, like from here down is, is more ruffly. And are you lined? No lining. No lining. So like another cute little dress. So that's more dresses than I've gotten in a while. Uh, okay. A lot of these next, this next piles are men's things. This is, a, was also half price. This was my other half price thing. This is a t-shirt, like a long sleeve t-shirt in a large, but the brand is, is mini. And this is the, about the mini, the car. What do they call those? The word just escaped me. I knew it a minute ago. And it has their, this uh, logo on the front. Now, you'd say, why in the earth would you buy that? Well, I think people that have this type of a car, what is the name of that? Mini. Uh, it's a mini something. There's, there's the regular size of car and then the mini ones. What's the name of that? Uh, mini Cooper. Thank you. <laughs> drive me nuts when that happens. Yes, Mini Cooper. I love those little cars. I would get one, except they're very expensive. And I don't think you can lease them. <laughs> so this is a Mini Cooper t-shirt. Long sleeve men's large t-shirt. So I just thought that was different. I have no idea. I didn't look it up or anything. But we'll see. Yeah, Ginger Marvin does well with fisherman sandals. Mm. No, I think it's a good brand. But it just hasn't been listed. Maybe it's a brand new brand. Who knows? You would think it would have to be new not to have any things listed in eBay about it. Okay. Got something else new here. This is a huge pair of men's shorts. <laughs> and they are basketball shorts. And they are by Andy One. A-N-D-I. No, And One. That's the brand. And One. They're not a big high selling brand as far as even being new, because these sell, they have a price tag of $12.66, but these are a 3XL. Now, brand new in the store, they sell for $12.99. When I looked these up on eBay, new, new ones of these were selling for like $30. So I don't understand it, but you know, Basketball. Uh, they have their elastic with a tie here. They're just regular big, big basketball shorts, long shorts. So who knows? I just thought I'd get those because of the resale value for new ones. <clears throat> Okay, there were a lot of uh, brands like, I got brands like Duluth Trading Company, uh, Cabela's, and what was the other one? Cabela's and Carhartt. <laughs> there was a whole bunch of those together, so I don't know if somebody gave them all at once because they're all really big sizes. Like this Duluth Trading Company is a 4X. Now you don't see that very often. This is blue. It's just a, a knit shirt. 
it buttons it's like a quarter or a half button long sleeve great big knit shirt <clears throat> So the sizing on that, plus Duluth Trading Company is a really good brand, too. So I should have brought a bigger barrel, I think. Okay, this is another Duluth Trading Company one. But this has a graphic on it, and this is a 2XL. And it's a long tail, it says. But this has... Some axes there on the pocket but on the back is a lumber guy I guess what does that say anything chopping wood and looking good <laughs> I didn't read that before that's funny chopping wood and looking good there you go it feels like it's brand new I don't think it's been worn just a long sleeve t t-shirt with that graphic on it. Now I think that'll sell. I have to get a uh, idea of a price, but okay. This one is by Carhartt. This is like a waffle knit. This is like a waffle knit top. And this is a 2XL. It's navy blue. Just a big, uh, like a Henley type neck here with three buttons. Long sleeve. You have to call these t-shirts on the item specifics for, if they go like this, they call them a t-shirt. Doesn't matter what they are. So here is, I got two of these. They're exactly the same, but they're different colors. I think they're the same, uh, same size. We'll see here. These are Cabela's extra large I got one in orange and one in gray extra large okay these are both the same size they're hoodies hooded sweatshirts but they have the graphic uh, Cabela supply on the front long sleeve warm uh, hoodies sweatshirts so there's that one and the gray one. This is outdoor supply. It says outdoors on there. Both extra large men's. And one more thing on the table here is another soft thing. This is by a brand I had to look up I never saw before. It's sort of a just so-so brand, but it was a really nice... Uh, Heavy sweater, heavy knit, and it's by Copen, K O P P E N. Uh, and it's a large, it's gray, this gray heather. It's a heavy knit uh, sweater. Has the band, blue band on the sleeves and around the uh, hips. So another like Henley top to it. Okay. Boy, that's just barely, hope they don't all tumble out of that barrel. Okay, now let's see what I have on the rack here. Start from here. This is a jacket. And it's by Fabletics, which is a good brand. It goes in at the waist. I didn't open this to see. Yes, there's ties here. You can make this straight down or they have it pulled up a little bit. 
where it goes in, you know. You can adjust the waist because it's below the waist. It's down close to um, mid-thigh or longer. So it has this uh, bright green zipper, zips all the way down, and a hood. So a nice rain jacket. It's lightweight. A nice uh, rain jacket in a medium. I'm sure this is a girl's, woman's. I found another little, this is by American Eagles, another little vest, denim vest. And this is a size large. It's a three button vest this time. So vests are good, especially denim. I picked this up because I just thought it was, it was laying in a pile, actually is laying on a pile on the floor. That's why it's so wrinkled. I don't know if you can see how wrinkled it is. It's really wrinkled. It needs to hang out. But uh, this is an 1X and it's by Ann Carson, woman. So it's a plus size and it's this pretty little uh, sort of a orangey pink and white with uh, covered buttons halfway down and sleeves have uh, have a covered button too. The sleeves are like, I don't know, maybe they're long. They're long on me, I don't know. But this brand is, a, is if I get $15, I'll be lucky for this brand, but I think it's pretty, a little blouse. And this was in the men's, and it's not men's at all. <laughs> this is Elizabeth by Liz Claiborne. And you know, Elizabeth is the part of her company that's plus size. So this is a 20, size 20. And in the prettiest plaid, I think, the button front blouse or shirt, long sleeve shirt, and it's all rayon. Another rayon piece that I got. It's super soft and really nice looking uh, shirt. Oh, that's nice. Um, I sold something while I was in Goodwill. I always like when that happens. Um, this is by Maurice's. It's called 24-7. It's by Maurice's, and it's a size 3. Now, that they must have a, a part of their company that does vanity sizing, because all of Maurice's stuff isn't vanity sizing, I don't think. I usually do jeans, and they're not, but... Uh, I don't know about tops. This is a big uh, striped top. It's navy and white. But the sleeves are sort of cold shoulder, but not. They're, they have this uh, design there where you can see yourself through, your shoulder through, through there. But I thought that was kind of a neat top. And I think this is also rayon. If I remember when I looked at it, I'm pretty sure. The tag is probably right up here. Uh, yes, 95% uh, rayon and 5% spandex. See this big hanger? I made this. Uh, this is going to go to Michelle. She needs some big hangers because it shows off plus size clothing so much better when you hang them for pictures than the regular. Uh, you can make these out of regular, uh, the cheaper plastic hangers. They have to be the really thin ones so that you can break them because it takes two hangers to make that one. Uh, this is by Soft Surroundings. It's kind of strange. <laughs> It's high-low. The front is this gray knit. The back is semi-sheer. 
and it's this animal print. So it's strange, so I got it. And the size, I don't know. The size isn't, oh, there it is. It's one of those see-through labels. It's a small, believe it or not. This is a small. It's pretty oversized. It's a little, uh, little pocket that's semi-sheer. So I thought that was interesting. This I just got because I think it's so cute. I haven't looked it up. I'm sure it's nothing much. It's called Love Notes. I don't know if you can see that on there. Love Notes. And it's a size medium. It's very lightweight, uh, this blue and white stripe. And it goes down to having like a peplum on the hip, but it's high-low. And it has three-quarter sleeves. I'm pretty sure these are. And they button. But just a cool summer-looking top. Here's a button here. So these roll up. Uh, these sleeves roll up if you want. So just a cute, uh, cute little blouse. <coughs> This is by Chico's. It's a size one, and this is an open vest, but it's so wrinkled you can't tell because the front, it has no buttons or anything, but I have to iron that front so it, you can see it better, but it just is an open front vest, I would call it, or an open front sleeveless blouse. However, I just found a hole in it right here by the... Uh, by the sleeve there's a hole i might be able to mend that let me see on the other side yeah there's one on the other side too somebody tried to put this on that maybe it wasn't their size this may be a no-go i should have looked at that more carefully but i didn't and now i have a shirt with two holes now here's something i have never found before is cloth and stone. I hear it talked about a lot because it's an anthropology brand. It's a size medium. It's a button front shirt. And this also is all rayon. It's na dark navy blue. You can hardly see it, I know. But it buttons down the, all the way down the front. It has button sleeves. And it's super soft. The Cloth and Stone is a brand I've heard lots of times about, but I've never had it before. But now I have it. Hopefully not for long. <laughs> this top is Banana Republic. It's an extra large. It's a little crop top with three-quarter, is it three-quarter sleeves? Yeah, I'd say. Three-quarter sleeves. It's a heavier knit, has a pocket here. Just a navy and white stripe. Banana Republic top. Uh, this top is called, is by American E. No, is this American Eagle? Yes, Mer wait. Yes, American Eagle, A-E-O. Uh, it's really, really soft, and the department is soft and sexy, so that's why it's so soft. It has viscose in it, is why. It's a great big top, and it's size extra large. It's in this sort of a slate blue color, and it has a, a keyhole or peephole, whatever you want to call this here, on the front, long sleeve. <clears throat> Almost to the end here. 
Another Banana Republic. This is a size small. Just a little t-shirt. But it had polka dots. And this is black and white. Uh, black with the white polka dots. Really cute little t-shirt, I think. And this was my other yellow tag. So this was priced, half price. Seems to me that was three of those, wasn't it? She only let, she only gave me credit for two of them. Oh well, Talbots. Uh, I was hunting for Talbots really big sizes. I couldn't find any that weren't petites. Most every Talbots in my whole store are Talbots petites. So I was beginning to think maybe Talbots only makes petites, but no, they don't. They make other sizes too, because this is a regular Talbots. This is an open waterfall type front, open cardigan, knit, just gray and white. It's a medium, just a nice knit uh, top to throw on, very chilly. And that is what I got. I think I did pretty good. Took me three hours and a backache. <laughs> but I think I did pretty good. I will uh, get these things processed so that I can get some listed. Although I have enough in my uh, launching thing to uh, for tomorrow. Because uh, tomorrow morning I'm going out to the barn to see my horse. But I'll be able to launch six things, I think, tomorrow morning. And then when I come home, I will have to... Well, tonight I'll I'll be able to list some things tonight. And then I'll have some... I like to at least be a day or two ahead of time. So that's what I got. The highest thing, the highest you pay for something, the highest I paid for these things were for the dresses. The dresses at my store are $6.99, regular price, before there's anything off. Okay, most of the long sleeve shirts are four, four and a half dollars. Okay, that little denim vest was three, three ninety nine. dollars uh, let's see what else here. Uh, men, uh, men's and women's long pants are four ninety nine. <clears throat> Sweatshirts are four forty nine. So the most I paid for anything was were for those dress for that. She only chart. Oh wait, it says five here. No, that's for shirts. She only charged me for one dress, actually. $6.99 is for the dresses. And then men's sandals, I believe, are $5. However, for these adult sandals, she only charged me $3.99. Wait, no, men's shoes, not sandals. Men's shoes are $5 or $4.99. Yeah, it's, it seems here that the uh, the dresses were the most expensive. Now, even that jacket, the windbreaker, was only four ninety nine. So a lot of jackets uh, are also six ninety nine at my store, but for some reason she only charged me four ninety nine for this one, which is nice. But the heavier jackets, you know. Are six ninety nine, so that's about the most I pay for anything at the store, unless it's in the special, on the special rack where they where they move, so they uh, they price those up and they put a separate ticket on it. <clears throat> I should just mend that. Yeah, I'll try to mend that. Check out Poshmark. In my opinion, your soft surroundings 
poncho should be priced much higher. And hope, oh, that scarf one? Okay, I don't remember what I put it on for. Much higher to sell close to 40. Oh, check out Poshmark. Okay, yes, I did a lot of shopping. The peasant top, right? <clears throat> you blew the Mini Cooper. They were brought out by BMW. Maybe. You don't think they make and one anymore? Maybe that's why they resell better now. Maybe. That could be. Yes, the coupons. I hate shopping if I don't have a coupon. <clears throat> what is the highest you pay for something before yeah which do you mean like 18 which thing are you talking about That, that sort of got a, oh. on the poncho. You can't mean that poncho. You said it should be around 40. Oh, that's what I had on it? Oh, dear. That's a, quite a ways away from 40. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to go on and look at that. Oh. Okay, I have to get going on this stuff so that I can list something tonight. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I shopped a lot today. And uh, like I said, once a month they have these double points day. So I have one to use next time and also then one in the bank. So I have two more. Two more in the bank. So I'm set for right now. I just have to, you know, you, you have to buy enough. If you, keep, if you go in the store and you only buy two or three things, you end up buying things without coupons. And I don't like to do that. So I will close for now. And I'm going to... Uh, do this stuff, and I will be back on, what's today? Oh, I'll be back tomorrow with a What's Sold video. It's not that many things. <laughs> Unless I go bang gangbusters, I think I sold something while we were talking here. So we'll see. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. Uh, also, do you have a blanket? Cardigan. List twice. Blanket cardigan. Doesn't ring a bell at all. Was it a sleeveless vest? No, cardigan. Blanket cardigan. Is that what the listing says? Blanket cardigan? Because that doesn't ring a bell at all to me. Oh, like plaid. I don't know. I'll have to check. <clears throat> I did find I did find a uh, something this past couple days that was listed twice that I had to end one of the listings. So that happens sometimes. I don't think I list it twice. I think it's somehow uh, when I'm ending listings. It doesn't get ended and it goes on when I relist sell similar, it goes on like for a second time. I think that's what happens. Brand blanket something. Okay. I'll just type in blanket and see what I get out of my because I'm not carrying any actual blankets. So 
Okay, thanks. I will look that up. Okay, I will see you tomorrow back here at 4 o'clock. So bye for now.